Uh, I don't know where to start other than uh, extremely disappointed with the WWE of rehiring a person who ruined this company for the past 12 or 13 years in the business since the company went PG. So, if y'all don't know what's going on, this is January 6th, two years after the debacle of what happened in the White House, terrorizing the building because a certain ex-president told his idiotic supporters to go and harass people, destruct the buildings, and just completely change how we look at life in the worst way possible and so as of January 6th two things I want to talk about that are currently bothering me right now and no I'm not going to go on this epic rant like I used to so I'm trying to hold my peace the first topic I want to talk about is Vince McMahon. The same man who was accused of sexual misconduct. I mean sexual misconduct. The same person who was accused of sexual misconduct against multiple women that came forward. For some odd reason, I feel like we believe in second chances nowadays. One person does bad, you fire them, and then they wield their behinds back into the company, into the industry, knowing that nobody wants to see them. So this has been happening since a few days now. So Vince McMahon is officially back with the WWE. And I am not happy about this at all. Because this company was doing fine with Triple H in charge, running things. And now all of a sudden, I feel like this company just doesn't know when to held themselves held themselves accountable for what they're doing. Especially if you're hiring an old hag, an old washed up person that once ran a great company but brought it down when they got sponsored and they went PG, no blood, no swearing. There's still some swearing, but not like what it used to be. But no blood is the most important part about any wrestling promotions. So, which is why you can never have nice things nowadays. So, Triple H brings back wrestlers that Vince McMahon fired. And I'm not saying it's going to happen. But something tells me that it's going to end up being like it was years ago when Vince McMahon fire these people because he didn't see the potential in them because he never gave these people a chance to shine in the ring in the WWE and he's going to probably turn NXT back to NXT 2.0 which we all do not want to see and even though I don't like NXT I just don't want to see it go back to what it was before when, um, when Vince McMahon was running the company So this is what we come to right now. We bring back people. No, no, no. We bring back people that destroy their own business. And we all know it's going to end up being 10 times worse than it already was before. So 
That's why I'm just like, why? Just why? I'm not even going to watch WWE again. Down a bit my man's back. So, I'm not expecting some good out of this. When I'm watching Russell Lamia videos, because you know he's going to end up having issues with it as well. But for some odd reason, there are, there are Vince McMahon fans that are happy that he's back with them. I don't want to stand. The man tried to ruin his company and you're happy that he's back? The company is going to be 10 times worse. I don't trust this guy at all. Never did and never will. So, this second part I want to talk to y'all about. I got a strike. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Went and checked my email. And there it was. And you want to know where that strike came from? It came from the first look at Seth Rogen's TMNT animated film. All because of the thumbnail. And I spoke my opinions on it. Why I dislike the image and the animations, the art style. So Paramount must have hate my criticism for it. They don't like when people criticize their own product, just like any other company. And now all of a sudden, I get this. What a way to start my day. So, I took the to Twitter. And I told them what was going on. I explained to them my frustrations. And... They gave me three options. Wait for it expired in 90 days. Submit appeal. Or go to a stupid copyright school, which is something I am not going to do. Because I did that years ago. I thought it was stupid. So thankfully, I didn't have that strike anymore because I had two years ago, which was scary. It almost cost me my life mentally. Because when you get a strike on YouTube, it can leave you depressed, miserable, and upset. Makes you not want to do anything. It just brings you down mentally. The worst thing you could ever imagine is getting demonetized. Your whole channel gets demonetized because of one video. That did not violate any guidelines. Because that's what I'm going through with TikTok right now. Because I got an account warning. Because of one video of a woman beating on a man. Because I expressed how I despise that. And so TikTok must have thought that since it violated the guidelines, they're going to remove it. I submitted my appeal, got rejected. And then I tried to, but my life is ha has been taking so much else in my life though. Like, first YouTube and now TikTok. This is not how I'm supposed to start off Friday. Not like this. So I asked them, should I continue to upload videos? And they say I could. Now that I got a strike on my channel. So that's the one thing I tend to do is keep going. I did it before and I do it again. That didn't stop me from having my channel determinated because of me uploading videos. As long as they don't offend certain people. 
you know, because I've been uploading my shorts lately and they get more, well, they get more views than my regular videos. So I guess that counts. So I'm gonna keep going. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Keep fighting, keep going, keep growing. Cause right now I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers on here in 2023. And I have a gut feeling it's going to end up happening because of my YouTube shorts. And as for TikTok, I don't know if they're going to end up removing the account warning sign off of my page. Because right now, my day is just... Only thing I can do is just pray about it, you know, and just give me some type of motivation to keep going. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm going to keep going until the Kuiper Eye Strike inspires. I am so not giving up. So I wanted to bring up those topics. Because I feel like it needs to be addressed because this is literally the first time I've made a serious video in a long time. But right now, this is this is definitely serious. Like, I'm not capping. I'm not putting up a front. This is not for entertainment. I'm doing this because I'm serious about this. Because I think if my channel does get terminated for real... You don't know how my mental health is going to end up skyrocketing because if that happens for real. My whole dream was to be a big social media influencer, but doing it the right way. My whole dream was to be big on YouTube. I want to be a, a, a famous YouTuber. If I could just keep going and uploading the best content that I can. And if I can become a social media influencer on TikTok, by just continuing to spread the truth and reacting and just expressing my overall opinions. If I continue to do that in 2023 without any BS going on, then I shall be fine. I shall be fine. So to anybody who has experienced something like this, don't give up. Keep going. That's all I got to say.